Hey guys, so I'm just coming to let you all see what I do to straighten out my hair. At this point, my hair is already washed and conditioned and I also blow dried it out. And yes, as you all can see, I do have some new color. It's the Manic Panic Vampire Red and I just applied that color over my previous color. And this is the result that I got. So this is the blow dryer that I use. It has two settings, warm and hot. As far as the temperature, I use the warm setting on the highest speed. This is the conditioner that I left in my hair. I wanted something really lightweight because I didn't want my hair to be weighed down. I also used a heat protectant before I blow dry my hair. This is the flat iron I'm going to be using. It's the Cortex flat iron and I'm only going to use this flat iron on my edges. Um, I'm going to flat iron my entire head with the Infinity Conair flat iron on the heat setting 395 which is the highest setting that it will go. I know I know before you bash me or anything the only reason I chose to use that heat setting is because I'm going to flat iron my hair with one pass on each section. Now I was actually using this same flat iron after I got my heat damage and I've never experienced any damage from using the flat iron. So I'm pretty confident that this technique will not leave my hair damaged. And I chose to use this flat iron only on my edges because this brand is actually the same brand of the flat iron that did leave my hair damaged. And, and I only chose to use it just because it was really, really small and I know it could get my edges really, really good. So I did not use that flat iron on any other part of my hair but my edges. The little hairs that I know the other flat iron will not be able to grasp. Oh yeah, I also forgot to apply my Chi Serum. I also use this as a second form of a heat protectant. I applied this all over my hair before I actually flat ironed it. This stuff is really lightweight, so however much you use is really not going to affect the way your hair come out. I mean, it won't weigh your hair down or anything, so you don't have to worry about that. And my hair is cut in a style where the top of my head is a lot longer than the back and the sides so that's why it's looking a little weird the way I have it pinned up at the top of my head so yeah <laughs> I'm just going to take small sections and use the comb chase method where you chase the flat iron with the comb. It just makes it makes the hair a lot more smooth when the flat iron passes through. So like I said, I'm just going to be using one pass. This flat iron is really good at getting my hair straight, so one pass is really good enough. just going to continue doing the same method um, I really wish this iMovie on my phone had a speed option where I could speed the video up but it don't so 
if you like you can go ahead and fast forward a little bit or if not you can go ahead and continue to watch I also made sure to take really small sections because I didn't want the sections to be too big to where one pass from the flat iron would not work so just FYI. So here's most of my hair completed I wanted to come back on and let you all see the final process. Um, again I'm just going to take the really small flat iron and flat iron my edges. And you can really see me concentrating on getting these edges and using this flat iron because I did not want to burn myself. to continue to take small sections and use the chase method. On a few pieces in the front I did have to use more than one pass just to get the ends straight I don't think I blow dried that part good enough Thank you all so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.